Developing story tonight, people in Franklin are worried they're being outflanked when it comes to a proposed slaughterhouse. We told you about this two weeks ago, and it appeared then, after public opposition, the company that owns the land was planning to sell and scrap the project. So why is Franklin's Common Council contemplating a special permit and a site plan for the idea? Sam Kramer is live in Franklin tonight with more on this. Sam? Yeah, hi there, Ted. We are still here in City Hall in the lobby because this Common Council hearing or meeting, I should say, is still going on some three and a half hours later. Let's go back through the timeline. In January, a Milwaukee County judge ordered Franklin's government to rehear this proposal, saying Franklin citizens did not receive due process, that it was rushed through. Tonight, the city attorney says they still have to go through this line by line and really move this process forward because Strauss, although saying it intends to sell that land, did not officially withdraw its application. And now some homeowners, even some protesters here, fear that facility could be built in Franklin after all. Shame on you. Nearly two weeks after the company planning a slaughterhouse in Franklin announced it's looking to sell that land. Call it March 1st. The debate continues Tuesday. With as many employees as Strauss employs, it's kind of hard to believe that none of these, none of this stuff would have gotten out. We've got very little information other than the plan details from the applicant themselves, who is no longer at the table. And yet we're pushing this down residents' throats. Strauss Brands sought the $73 million project to process up to 500 cattle per day at a new 150,000 square foot facility off Loomis Road. It's right next to a growing subdivision, one of several points of contention for Dave Sorensen. So I really feel empathetic for people that are living across from a retention pond making the biggest investment of their life, and this is what they're going to have to deal with unless we're able to stop it. His group, Franklin Community Advocates, has opposed the project and sued the city to stop it. That's why the city is rehearing the proposal. But with Strauss stating its intent to back out, Sorensen says the permit shouldn't stand. Never been able to find anywhere where a city has taken a special use permit without an applicant. So an application with no applicant and it sails through the approval process. And again, the debate over that process continues tonight. There have been motions to table uh, this, this, this permit that Strauss initially applied for, but says they're backing out of. Uh, but those failed because and the mayor with the casting vote says to satisfy that court order, they must move forward. The one thing they say they're missing is, again, a written withdrawal from Strauss. Appears once that happens, then that they can move forward with that denial. But until then, they say the best thing to do is to move forward to satisfy that court order. We're live tonight in Franklin. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. Sam, thank you.